Dear colleagues, I had several challenges in this case. Heart cataract, shallow anterior chamber, mid dilated pupil, and weak junior. Let us see how this surgery went on. By this time, main incision and one side port on the left side of the main incision have been done. Now, a big air bubble is injected into the anterior chamber. I want to stain the anterior capsule of the cataractus lens with tripan blue dye so that I can do a large rexis and if PC rent occurs I can put a lens in the sulcus in that case the stained anterior capsular rim will be easy to identify. In this case I am going to use Viscoat. This is Viscoat from Alcon. And underneath this Viscoat I am going to use a little other viscoelastic substance. In this case this is HPMC, hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose just over the anterior capsule of the cataractus lens and this HPMC has pushed the waistcoat upward so that it sticks firmly to the corneal endothelium. Now one more paracentesis incision has been made on the right side of the main incision. And now is the time to do capsular excess and see what happens when I try to incise the anterior capsular rim. Here it is. As I try to incise the capsule, the whole lens moves. And this indicates weak jonule. So hard cataract, weak jonule, and the chamber was really very shallow. These challenges. It was fun to overcome all these challenges. Now I have planned to do a large rexis and I am doing it very gently. At this point at around 3 o'clock the rexis tends to go to the periphery. So I bring it back and it was not difficult to rescue this rexis. And now, hydrodissection. Hydrodissection was a tricky business in this case. I did hydrodissection at several points, but still the rotation of the nucleus was not satisfactory. I tried to rotate the nucleus, but it didn't rotate nicely. I did hydro at some other places at some more points and ultimately I gave up. I didn't, I could not rotate the nucleus nicely. Now in this case I have planned to make a deep trench first, not a crater, a trench. It's from 11 o'clock to 5 o'clock. Here it is. In the bevel down position, I'm making the trench and the trench is sufficiently deep now. And now I rotate the tip of this FECO hand -vis. and I try now to chop this nucleus. Here it is. So this is going to be a terminal chop kind of thing. Start chopping from the equator. Now I try to rotate the nucleus. It 
We rotate it, but it was not really free. Probably because of the weak genule, it was not rotating nicely. Now, this is vertical chaff gradually go to a deeper plane and here it is I could chop I could divide the nucleus into two halves and this is a portion of one heminucleus the FACO power at this time is 85% I mean FACO2 mode now the flow rate is 40 ml per minute and vacuum is 400 millimeter of mercury so I have been able to emulsify a portion of the heart nucleus uh, now this is the other part of one heminucleus since the antechamber is really shallow I want to come out now at this time and apply some more viscoat here it is I come out I apply some viscoat here is the viscoat and beneath this viscoat I apply HPMC and this viscoat comes up and sticks to the corneal endothelium and now I go again and work on this part of the nucleus here it is since this coat if we work in the environment of this coat it can produce heat so it is I think it is better to push the viscoat off towards the corneal endothelium with HPMC and use the ultrasonic energy in HPMC that's it I have come I have conquered this nucleus which is hard with weak genule and shallow anterior chamber now I can see that at the side port, at the left side port, some nuclear fragment is sticking just, uh, just adjacent to the inferior margin of the side port. Now I want to bring that nuclear fragment first and then I want to start aspirating the cortical matter so what I do is I irrigate this and suddenly it gets dislodged and it comes out now I use bimanual irrigation aspiration and remove this cortical matter very carefully I am taking care not to hold the capsule, not to hold the anterior rim of the capsule, not to hold the equatorial region of the capsule and gradually I clean the cortical matter nicely. And now I inject viscoelastic substance, this is HPMC because at this point of time I don't want some viscoelastic substance which is difficult to remove 
HPMC comes in between sodium hyaluronate and viscoat. It can be used easily. It can be removed easily. And here it is. The intraocular lens is placed in the capsular bag. Dear colleagues, we must be very patient when we face some challenges. We cannot hurry up. We must have patience. We must take all measures, all precautions and we must do the case nicely. That's it. The case is over. The viscoelastic substance is being removed by bimanual irrigation aspiration. Hope this video will help you in some point of time in your practice. Remember in shallow anterior chamber with hard cataract we should use viscoat because the cataract is hard and we can we have to work near the corneal endothelium. Thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you in the next video.